Hi, I'm Diane Neubauer, Du Yanzi. I'm making a second video about how to submit material to the Reading Corner on the Ignite Chinese website um, for the Great Mandarin Reading Project. I'm on the page here with project instructions. I'll scroll down a bit. There's, you can read about the purpose and how it got started. And in the guidelines, I'll point out a few things. Some people have asked, um, should I submit in a certain kind of script? Uh, no, you could submit in traditional script or simplified script. The one kind of um, script that would be difficult would be if you use characters and automatically add the pinion directly above them. Um, this website cannot handle that formatting, so it needs to be a character-only text or it could be a pinion text if you have those instead. Um, if you wish to provide English translation, you could, but you don't need to. There should be a title, and preferably a title that's in English, especially if it's novice level reading. If you have students skimming through to look for something they could read as free reading material, it'll help them to be able to scan the titles quickly if it's in English, and then they'll know if they, they think they'd be interested in that story. And uh, the reading should be provided in a PDF format. I'll show how to do that shortly. And um, include the name of the author unless they wish to remain anonymous. In my case, I do not use the last name of my students because they're minors. Um, and I do have permission from the families to upload their material, but I, I did not want to add their full name for privacy reasons. Um, here's a couple of links. If you have, let's say you find a simplified story, but you teach in traditional script, um, there's a link to a converter, or vice versa, of course. Those will need a little bit of confirmation that they've all completely converted correctly, but um, it's worth that. And then there's a couple of email addresses you could submit to myself or to Haiyun. There's the instructions on how to use the website for reading. And then at the bottom, this is a downloadable file for a template for material to submit. So I have the file right here. It has the title and author and then space for you to paste in the story. And at the bottom, it's um, easily going to remind you of where you could send it and that all copyright is waived. That is, um, nobody is paying for these stories and they're shared freely with the understanding that no one else is going to sell the material using them either. So, let's say I have some writing that I want to share. Here's some writing I want to share. So I copy this student's writing and put it into the body of the file there. Give it a title. I've read it, so I think that's a pretty decent title. And two students actually worked on this together. So instead of just saving, which would give me a doc file, I'm going to go up to the file menu and choose Save As. And in this drop down of formats, find the PDF. And now I'm good to go. So I now have a PDF document that I can attach to an email and send to either this address or that one. And that's it. Thanks.